Part of my job as a horseman is to figure out what the horse's needs are and what the horse's concerns are. Horses that do their job and enjoy it usually do it well for a long time. On a December afternoon, David Wright and dozens of other trainers brought their horses to show at the St. Louis Winter Festival. The festival is, like many others, held year-round across the United States. Thank you very much. Owners and riders compete for blue ribbons and prize money. There are a lot of people that, that like to push themselves as, as riders and see how well they can do. Uh, given the level of horse that they have. He likes his brain scratched. <laughs> At a time when the U.S. horse racing industry is under scrutiny for its pervasive drug culture, similar issues are facing the rarefied equestrian world. Records show that since 2010, Random drug tests of horses at different events and disciplines uncovered dozens of violations for substances such as cocaine, antipsychotics, and depressants. Violations have occurred at the highest levels, including the Olympic trials. In any sport, there are going to be some people who want to find shortcuts and want to find ways around the, the good way to do things and the correct way to do things, and that's when the animals suffer. Mr. Wright has owned and trained show horses for more than 35 years. You don't like your belt tighten, do you? He trains yeah. both show jumpers and show hunters, two very distinct disciplines. While show jumpers compete against a clock, hunters are judged subjectively. The hunter discipline is where the horses are judged on their beauty and grace, evenness of tempo. I want that horse to walk in the ring, look very businesslike, but like he's having a good time. Pick up a nice canter, uh, go to the first jump on an even rhythm, and I would like to see him jump all the jumps in the same rhythm at basically the same canter in the same style. How do you get a horse calm enough to trot in a quiet manner before competition? <coughs> One way is to give the horse a thorough workout at the end of a rope. The practice is called lunging. It's normal uh, to lunge horses at horse shows because it's their only chance to go out and play, so to speak. The problem is that some people do that to excess you're compounding the problem instead of making it better because then the horses get fitter. And then you have to lend them longer and longer and longer, which is bad for their joints. Mr. Wright says time and patience is a must when training a horse to perform well in the hunter discipline. But some trainers will also use drugs and supplements to quiet a horse before a show. Magnesium, for instance, large amounts of magnesium makes them sluggish. And the problem is it's also very, very dangerous. It can hurt the horse or kill the horse. And uh, when somebody starts injecting something in large amounts that can be dangerous, sooner or later there's going to be a problem. The Equestrian Federation says it responds to drug issues promptly. In February, it banned a popular but potentially lethal drug that sedates horses, making them more manageable during competition. They've also limited the use of painkillers and anti-inflammatory drugs. But a year ago, the sport's top veterinary group recommended that no horse receive drugs within 12 hours of competition. The Equestrian Federation has yet to adopt that rule. The horses are doing this job because we want them to, not because they necessarily want to. They're really good about it. But again, it's the human's responsibility to make sure that the horses stay comfortable and that you look after their needs completely.